Hi there, George here. Today we'll be fitting the Faroslar mud flap kit to the Tesla Model 3 long range. Uh, so we'll go through the tools you need and just a step by step on how I've done it. Right, but I've done one side already. It's really easy, really good actually. So uh, we'll just have a look at the tools and then we'll make a start. I'll just turn the camera around. There you go. So the tools we need are a trim clip remover. We need a um, 10 mil socket. Double sided tape comes with a kit. Uh, some scissors. We've got um, some clips that come with a kit, but I don't, I don't need them for the front. Um, you do get a little spanner, but a socket's easy to get the there's a bolt in the original Tesla flap underneath and you get full instructions. I've also got some degreaser and a cloth. Um, so that's stage one. So the first thing you do is we'll remove this Tesla flap. So I've removed the 10 mil bolt from underneath. Okay, now we're going to remove the uh, these two clips here with a trim clip removing tool so you just pop up the outside pop that in that's come out doesn't matter we can put it together after and that pulls out okay same with that one um, Leave them there, get ready, and we just pull this off. And this is the um, this is the Tesla small mud flap, but it only comes up as far as the sill, and the Farasala ones actually come up to about here, so uh, a lot more coverage. So that's the next stage. So now we're going to clean all this muck off with our degreaser. So. So that's nice and clean. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna um, apply the double-sided tape. So I'll just take a break there and put the tape on because I need two hands. So I'll put the head cam on, hopefully that'll, um, hopefully you can see what I'm looking at. If not, it's a waste of a video. So um, we've got the adhesive promoting, adhesive promoter. So we'll just give that rub on there. This is going down that edge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trial fit this just to get the height of where we wanna be. So it's to be about there. I'm just gonna stick that down there. It's okay. Trim that off. A good press. A couple of minutes. Leave that like that. And then all we do is we just uh, make sure we get a hold of that after. That. So what we're going to do is we position, position the bottom, um, line up the holes. That's good. We'll shove these back in like this. Shove that one back in like this. 
make sure they're fully home. Press the clips in, press the clips in. Then what we do is we get hold of the backing tape, take it off the 3M tape like that. Okay, and then we just need to clip, clip this on to the actual wheel arch. So here we go, that's on. And that's it. Just take the head cam off. Bear with me. Okay. So that's that's it fit in, okay? And as you can see, they This is the Tesla one, and basically it comes up to the top of the sill here. But the Farasala ones come up to this point here. So they're actually um, a lot nicer. They give you more protection as well. I've done the other side, so we'll just have a little quick look on the other side. And there it is. So they're really good, um, easy to fit, nice tight against the bodywork, you get all the kit, um, absolute bargain. And as I say, do a better job. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, tackle the back one. So again, in a, a series of short videos. So again, I'll get myself prepared and I'll uh, be back in a sec. So we're on the back now. So what I've done is under here, I'll put the light under, um, We've removed um, this bolt from here, this clip, from that hole there. And that's all we've done. So, um, I put a bit of masking tape to mark the position of the double-sided tape. So what we want to do is put the 3M tape anywhere where it's going to rub on the paint. Okay. So I'm just going to pause that now. Right. So I've applied the double-sided tape. Uh, Use the uh, adhesive tape primer. Um, so I'm just going to try and do this one-handed. I'm just going to position the mud flap and get that get that clip part in. Um, I'll need two hands for this. I'll just pause. Okay, tip number one. I tried to fit the uh, original clip that I took out, um, but they're similarly not long enough. So in the kit, you get new clips, and the new clips are longer, so they reach the inner wheel arch liner. So all I'm going to do is, that went in very easily, having struggled for a few minutes, I'm just going to pop that, just going to pop that clip in, He says, <laughs> there it is, it's a little bit of a struggle, but there you go. And then we're going underneath, move that stuff out of the way. We're going underneath and we're gonna put in the, this bolt. that bolt there so we're just going to leave that we're just going to do that finger tight only yep so that's in 
Um. Bottom clips in. The double sided tape is clipped around the wheel arch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to remove the double sided tape. And there should be an end somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, well, there it is. So I'm just going to pull that off. Just ease that, ease that down. Pull the red backing off all the way at the end. There you go. And then we clip. We're going to clip back. Round the wheel arch. There it is. Just make sure that's, that's. So, just you have to sort of twist that round behind the edge of the plastic bumper and make sure that bottom one's on clip still in and then the final job is we will um tighten up the bolt sorry um so make sure that make sure that everything's nice and snug and then we'll just um Okay, we're not, we're, not, we're not working. And obviously, this only needs a little, oh, a little nip, and um, she's on. So, um, that's a lovely fit. No gaps. And again, that'll give us good protection for the um, splashes and stone chips, etc. So that's it. So one last little look. Front flap. Rear flap. So that was it. Sorry about the shaky camera and all this sort of activity, but uh, one-handed filming. I'm not a professional filmmaker. I haven't got um, tripods and all that yet, but uh, I do my best with me grassroots videos. So this this is the kit from Amazon. Yeah. By memory, I think there were. 24, 25 pound, um, but excellent, excellent. And uh, they look really good, they fit nice, they're nice quality, the instructions are good to get all the gear, you get loads of spare clips, 3M tape and the uh, primer wipes for the adhesive. So that's it really. Obviously, we put the double-sided tape on where we think there's going to be next to the paintwork so it doesn't chaff. Not down the outer edge, maybe, because that might bring it off the bodywork a bit, but definitely on the front edge of the wheel arch. Uh, front and rear, the, the wheel arch edge. So, uh, what was it? A lot of climbing about to do when you get to, when you get to buy edge. So that's it for this video. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. And if you like my videos, please like, please subscribe. And also, um, if you think they're buying a Tesla, you're very welcome to use my link, which I'll post in the description below. And also, uh, if you're thinking of an energy supplier, Octopus Energy comes highly recommended. Uh, again, I have a link, which I'll put in the description below. So you're very welcome to use that link as well. And there's obviously benefits for both of us. So we get 50 pounds each of Octopus Energy, and we get a thousand supercharger miles from Tesla. So uh, 
that's another accessory added. Um, see you in the next video. Bye now.